Hey everybody, Rich Lavelle with the Vacaville Baseball Barn, Master Instructor with the Epstein Hitting System, an online hitting academy. Today I want to address something that um, I see on YouTube and I see and I hear people talk about it, games and things like that, of someone dropping their hands. And I saw a video, I, actually I take that back, it is a still image of Ted Williams saying that either he was dropping his hands or he wasn't getting his knob pointed back towards the catcher or whatever the case may be. Here's the problem with still images. Where are they in the swing? And at that point, it looked like maybe Ted was just coming in a toe touch. And this is what made me think of this particular topic. Hand hitch versus dropping the hands. I see dropping the hands in several different situations. And, and primarily what I see in younger hitters is their first move is they, they push their hands back. And I know some people talk about creating separation this way. This is not the proper separation to create. The hands go back and then they drop down like this, and then the barrel drops and here comes the elbow, and now we have a low barrel, and the hands are, are really in the proper position, but they've gone from maybe a high spot and they kind of get to here. The hand drop, and then the hand drop that I'm referring to is when they get to here and they drop them down like this, and then they swing and it's a big old uppercut, or as they land and they're halfway decent in their, in their, their launch position, but they get to this point and coming into contact, they just continue swinging down. And if we've got a pitch, let's say waist high, and their hands finish down like this with a power V, I know that they're swinging their hands down. That versus the hand hitch, and there's a lot of them out there. Josh Donaldson, um, Pujols even has a little bit. Uh, Batista, not so much, but they're, um, if you remember Ortiz with Boston Red Sox, as they, this was part of their rhythm and, and tempo. And they would get to this point, and then when they landed, their hands would get somewhere back up here. They might be a little bit higher than the shoulder, maybe just a little bit lower, depending on where the pitch location they've already calculated coming from the pitcher. So don't confuse the two. The hand hitch, part of rhythm and tempo. And I think a lot of kids should start working on that very young, maybe not using a game situation since they're used to it. Remember, it took Josh Donaldson a year to work that into his swing. But the hand hitch is part of your rhythm and tempo. And then we have the hand drop where they go here and then they're trying to swing and they, and they really loop that bat underneath the ball. Or when they're swinging, they're dropping their hands down here trying to hit the low pitch instead of getting into their legs and tilting their, their back shoulder as they come through. So just keep in mind, those are some things to take into consideration when you're watching a player, especially using video that you don't confuse the two. Is one of them a hand hitch? Where is that hitch in relationship to his, his swing process versus is he getting his hands back, dropping them down below the shoulders and then trying to make his swing. If you like this video, give us a like, please. Don't forget to subscribe, share us with your friends, family, and teammates, and then check us out on Facebook for upcoming events.